Hi guys, welcome back to Hitpointed. Name's Reval. Today we're going to be continuing with our Warband playthrough on day 77 with our good old buddy Butch Fiddly Body Ohm. Okay, stop right there, criminal scum. No idea what I was doing last time, so let us seek out answers, ladies and gentlemen. So most likely paying a hefty amount of cash, weekly budget of 1k. Interesting. We'll see how that's going to pan out. I think I was going somewhere northeast, maybe to Sargoth, to do a tournament. I think that was the case. Also, we are slow as hell. Right, the horses. Yeah, we gotta go to Uxhal. We gotta go to Uxhal and we, we gotta get horses in the inventory. I remember now. It's native. Hello, Marnid. Welcome back. And it's goodbye. Yep. Yeah. Bye. That's a lot of boys that we might not want on top. Have to check them out. There we go. Let's move. Is that a... No, that's just a farmer. Marketplace. Lame saddle horse. That can work. But first we gotta sell all of this stuff. So we fought against mountain bandits, did we? I sh should I? Give me those. And that. That should be fine. No auto equip for companions will be a pain in the ass. Yeah, I know. Yeah, no, we'll make it work. We'll make it happen. So we that lame. Good. We're gonna try to find the worst horses that we can get our hands on. So Ferentis. Here you go. The Shavi Armor Plethi. Definitely Plethi needs that. Behishter. Lesla, actually. There. They're gonna slowly get equipped. They're gonna slowly, slowly get better equipment. We'll make sure that that goes down there. More bread for the bread god, because they don't have any grain. It's fine. Check out the tavern. Merc Swordsman. Ah, oh, come on, man. Ooh, that is a slow, slow weapon. Yeah, you better run. Okay, can't swing there. There it is. Goes through block, baby. Goes through block. Another Merc Sword. That's around 200. Merc Swordsman is running away for his dear life, and there's nobody up top. They don't spawn up top here. Good. Alright, let's keep moving. I, I'll i go through the arena task where, there's, where can we find another tournament? Held at Kura. Okay. So Kura's our destination right there. Should be fine. 79. I feel like we have too many soldiers. I feel like we have too big of an army right now. Ooh, forest bandits. You know what? I think we're capable of taking those guys out. Let's go take them. Can we catch up? 4.8. or 5.1. Yeah. Yeah, we'll be able to catch up to those forest bandits. Better than 23 than the 9. So that's fine. Yeah, we're catching up. It seems we're going to fight during night time, but it should be okay. And Alan leveled up to level 5. Alright. Alright. Strength up. Power strikes 4. That's good. But that's just decent. Mm -hmm. DK Rock, thank you for resubscribing, man. Thank you for your Twitch Prime. Really appreciate it, dude. Really appreciate it. Trainer is at 0. Hmm. We'll get some trainer for him. Do we want trainer? Let me have a look. Power strike's already at four. That's okay. And next level we'll have power strike five because of uh, strike fifteen. And afterwards we're going to be going into his charisma. 
to increase leadership as much as possible. Besides leadership, he's, he's also going to need pathfinding. Might be a good idea to just put two points into pathfinding right now. Yeah, we're going to be focusing on that. Because he will become a vassal. So we should focus on his vocation. Okay. Our pathfinding is actually decent. Four plus one. We should be fine once we get some more horses. Declaration of war. Your luck has run out. We're going to charge the enemy. Whoa, holy crap. You don't see these types of maps in Bounded Order. That's for damn sure. Where's the enemy coming from? That direction from the mountains, huh? Archers here, infantry here, infantry stand closer. Cavalry there, I think. Do I even have cavalry right now on me? No, I, sh I should have some cavalry. Ah, oh, there they are. There they are. I, s I didn't see them. Infantry a little bit forward. How does auto calculate work, actually? In Bannerlord or in Warband? some damage go there oh man some of them actually got off their horses dumb shits in warband well auto calculation is based on the strength of the leader of the army and it's also based on uh, the number of units and the quality we are increasing the number of units of a vassal by um, increasing his leadership and most likely giving fiefs, which is going to increase the number of soldiers that he will be able to field. And we're going to be giving him strength. We're going to give him around 15 strength, a minimum, so he'll have a decent amount for the calculations. Besides that, we give him pathfinding, and tr pathfinding to help him um, move around the world map a little bit faster. Um, there's no need for prisoner management, there's no need for anything else, and if he has any extra levels that we can use, sorry, extra skill points that we can use, we're just going to put them into trainer, so he helps us out with training soldiers when he's in our party. And that's it. That would be the idea. Cavalry go in. Infantry go in. Because we're close enough. I mean, no, they're they're close enough in the sense that they're on flat land right now. Uh, Swatting footman died. That's sad. Wish he didn't. Gonna try to take these boys out. Good. It's over. We lost a footman, but oh, that's how these things work. These are still forest bandits. And they're not looters. Okay, take that stuff, move on. Is that a 17 boot? Okay, the Shrevy's getting along with Cleppy, that's nice. Now it's a 7 boot. Nah, not really good. Alright, let's keep moving towards Kura. In some mods, autocal is so useful, but in native, it's bad. Yeah. In native, and apparently in Bannerlord, it's pretty shitty. Currently. Someday, I'm sure it's gonna get better. Someday, I'm sure. Well, not in Warband. In Warband, it stays the same. They're not doing it. 20 looters versus 20 knights, 5 dead knights. Ooh. Ooh, my heart. My heart and my soul would give out if that would happen to me. Would be horrible. Horse Chan. I could grab the, that lame courser and that saddle horse. Yeah, that'll work. Seems we just built it. We've just built an enterprise somewhere by the looks of my money. Or we've simply been. Spl splurging a little bit too much with cash. We'll see. Check the tavern. 
and then we're gonna wait here until morning and see if we can participate in the arena. Or if the arena is already gone. That's also a possibility. Nope, tournament's still going. That's good. Let's do this. Four teams, four fighters each. Yeah, he's slapping me because I am really not good with a two-handed weapon. To be honest, his weapons are the best that I'm capable with. I'm gonna try to take him out. Got him. And then take his weaponry. Practice sword shield. There it is. Never ready to take out this entire tournament. I'll kill the yellow guy. There we go. Blue guy's mine. Kill. Kill all of them, actually. Nice. Good job, Mr. Swordsman. That's going to secure us in the next round. Three teams, seven fighters each. Good, I'm still on the horse. That's a good position to be in. Now we just got to secure ourselves some better weapons. Or secure a little bit of survival. For starters, I'll need that shield. Good. Shoot those have been acquired. We can't really use it with our current weapon. That's a javelin. Somebody with a sword. Not that sword. We'll need a one-handed sword from somewhere. I think that person. No. Throwing weapons. There we go. Take that out. Just put my phone on silent. He's not to be confused. We are a blue squad soldier. That's a weapon that I need from that horseman. I should be able to get close and take it. Nah. Don't have enough time. I need to bait this guy away a bit. Oh, hello. Good. Bait it away. Now, let me get my hands on that sword, please. Shit. Bashed. Then my friend, he's a friend. Great. Never mind. We don't longer need the sword. That dude already took, has taken out everybody that we needed to worry about. Two teams, four fighters each. Ooh, and I'm in an even worse situation now because I got a knife, a butter knife, and they actually have decent weaponry. Ooh, this is gonna be tricky. Now this knife. What else do we got? Ooh, 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 maybe, maybe. Definitely better than what I had. This thing's better than a knife because we can actually block with it. There it is. And now we've secured ourselves the weapons that we would need. I just need to get there and take them. There it is. Oh, sure, 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 I'll use this. As long as I have a shield, I should be fine. Oh, never mind. Knocked me silly. You think I've been eliminated? Yep, been eliminated. Lame. We used our cash. Quite lame. All right, let's go to Rivacheg. Hmm. Hello, Bunduk. Welcome back. Bunduk has a crossbow and bolts. I might make use of that and the padded leather. And he's gonna go bye bye. See ya, Bundy. Now, Clethy, let's see what he got here. Cracked crossbow, 44. Okay, phone, it's time for you to be silent. It is over. Let me just turn this off. There we go. 44, 49. 
can be used on horseback, so we can't really rely on it that much. That's fine. And yeah, definitely need one of those. Anybody else that Artemener? Yeah, Artemener, you'll require this. And you're now going to be in the Archer Division as well. Need to keep you boys safe. For Mahesha Lazuli Ferentis, we'll leave them on the front line for right now. Hmm? Yes? Ooh! One thing. Nah, I'm not gonna eat on, on stream. It's fine. I'm just gonna eat this one piece. Mmm. Mm. Yes? Sounds good. But I like them more like this. Hmm? True. Sure. That's perfectly fine. Uh, C Raiders then. That's okay. Let's go. Hello, Confused Slot. Welcome back, dude. Yeah, yeah. Playing some good old-fashioned classic Warband Arena. How you doing? What's the speed on those C Raiders? 5.1. We're at 5. 5.2. Yeah, we can't catch up to them. We'll need more. We'll definitely need more. Okay, in this location, I'm going to be able to have a positive or at least neutral relation with the city, so I'm going to be able to build an enterprise soon. I'll just need to invest around 1k into this place. I also need to acquire three more horses. That looks like a fine purchase, so we're going to go with that. And I also need to check out some grain for the boys. What are our current weekly reports looking like? We are in the positive. We are making 800 gold. So that's good. Some good old-fashioned native. Hey, Zarath. Welcome back to the end, man. Thanks for resubscribing. Over two years now, huh? Thanks, man. Welcome back. Yep, some good old-fashioned native. How have you been, man? Let's move. We're now at 3.0. How will that translate in comparison to how the Sea Raiders are moving? Hey, Caleb, welcome back. 3.3, 3.1. Swordsman, please. Man at Arms, Archer. I'm gonna bring the Archers up a notch. I'd like to make sure that the archers, the sharpshooters, and some of the Nord warriors are coming first in battle, because I'd like them to be on point. 3.1, 3.1, they're slow running me, yeah. Been pretty good, uh, work has been kind of stressful, but it's alright. How am I doing? Well, um, I'm kind of in the same boat. I've been pretty good. Work has been kind of stressful, but it's all right. Uh, especially now that I'm uh, going to be taking a vacation. So I'm going to have a week off of work. And I'm also going to be taking some time off of streaming. Just to recharge my batteries. Just to have some good old relaxation. And just to let the, let the stress leave my body forever. Well, or at least until... New sources of stress return, I guess. This is going to be a tournament at Provin. Okay. Tournament at Provin can be doable. I guess we're going to have to go there. Don't really have the money to do anything else, so let's start moving. I didn't check the tavern for uh, a ransom broker. So I guess we're just going to have to seek out enemies somewhere else. To be honest, if those two would gang up on me, that would be a very, very dangerous situation. Hey, so Mega, welcome back to the end, man. A little bit low on cash and trying to seek out new fortune. We have the same speed. 
So someday we should be able to catch up to those sea raiders if they drive themselves into a corner. Recharge your batteries every once in a while is a very good idea, man. Enjoy the time off when it comes. Thanks, dude. Practically next week I won't be streaming, and that would be the idea. It's 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 gonna hurt a little bit. It's gonna hurt the platform, and it's gonna hurt my YouTube channel a bit. But I really need to take some days out. Uh, my wife's correct. I am slightly of a workaholic, so I should stop a little bit and just smell the roses or the autumn, the autumn or the winter that's coming up. Okay, yeah, they drove, drove themselves into that's a corner, a nice and now we can finally this. kick their ass. Archers up there, infantry here, cavalry on the side, infantry stand closer four times. There we go. Enemy's gonna be coming from that there hill somewhere. Yeah, frankly, that's that's the best course of action that I can take right now, is just to take some days off and just rest up. Who knows? Maybe maybe I'm gonna go on a trip with my wife, maybe I'm just gonna stay in and just play video games and not think of anything else. We'll see. We'll see. I'll see. Uh, some of those dudes have long bows, huh? The range of us shooting them now. Hopefully my shield wall will hold a bit. When you get close to a party, if you warp time to max and minimum very quickly, it sometimes catches them much quicker. Does it? Is that a thing? I should move those horsemen a little bit further back, because I'm gonna let them charge on the enemy eventually. But for right now, I'd like to try and soften them up a bit. Let's see if I can soften them up with this thing, though. Oh yeah, definitely I'll be able to soften some boys up. Especially if I turn them around towards me. Yeah. Cavalry charge to further distract the enemy. Maybe turn them around to aim towards us. Oh yeah, this is looking good. This is looking perfectly fine and manageable. Just need to be careful to keep them distracted, to keep their shields towards me, and they're gonna slowly, slowly die out. Also, the Swadian men at arms aren't doing their job like it's nobody's business. Okay, yeah, yeah, now these are reliable cavalry soldiers. These, these boys are good. These boys can actually do combat. The cap. I, f I feel like the cavalry from Battle Royale is, is just so unreliable. The melee cavalry. The horse archers are incredibly reliable. Um, and they're unreliable here in Warband. Remember when I said that Warband does good stuff and bad stuff and Battle Royale does good stuff and bad stuff? This is what I mean. I, I feel like Warband and Battle Royale sometimes are just mirroring each other. Well, no, sorry. Not mirroring each other. They're opposites. They're opposites. Uh, they're faces of the same, of the same coin, but still different opposite faces. Works on console. Not sure about PC. Ah, I see. Okay, I understand. I understand. Ooh, that's some, there's some good shit here. Not exactly sure if we have any throwing weapons units, but we'll see. Mirroring is correct. Let's see. Fair enough. Fair enough. I guess mirroring is correct. I was just thinking the the fact that sometimes mirroring simply shows a similar thing. You are imitating, you are mirroring. Uh, but you can also interpret that as it's a mirror, it shows the opposite effect, the other side. It, it depends how you interpret that statement. Okay. A marksman? I should bring those marksmen up a bit as well. Nor veteran warriors. Oh, right, can't upgrade them because I literally don't have enough cash. That's gonna be annoying. It shows the same, but the opposite. I guess. I guess. Alright, let's give Behishter a little bit of love. I seem to recall that Behishter is a horse archer. I should give him a bow and arrow. Yeah. I just don't have any arrows right now on me. Eventually. 
a thick flame kite shield. Is that just better all around than what I have as well? Sorry, man, I'm, I'm going to be yoinking that. Because that seems to be good. There. Okay. That's fine. He just needs some arrows and he's going to be good to go. Now let's move to the nearest city, which is going to be in this case Sargat. So, try to sell some of the villagers. It's fine, Lazalette. I don't know. I don't want you to tell me why. Nord trained footman. That could be a good target. Yeah, let's leave. Now for Sargoth. Since it's it's a priority for me just to sell the prisoners. So marketplace goods first. Sell some of the stuff. I'm not gonna be giving any throwing weapons to my boys. Just sell all of that trash. Get yourself some bread in this case. Go to arms and see if they have any arrows. That can work in my favor, so we're gonna go with that. Mahishtar, congratulations, I found you some arrows. Also, Deshavi, how are your arrows looking like? Okay, you're fine, you're fine. I, I, I was um, a little bit worried that the Shavi might have some minus damage arrows. She seems to be fine. Hard Blade, Traveler, I'd like to see if there's a Ransom Broker up top. I think Bramoon, the Slaver, might be here. No, it's just a Farmer. Okay, I can, I can work with the Farmer. I can uh, save his village. Ambien. Ambien for Marauding Bandits. Oh, Ambien's dead, dude. Ambien's dead. No Ransom Broker. I'll have to stop at Tear. They try to solve there. Sure, so mega. Have a good day at work, man. Have a good day at work. Yeah, soldiers are leveling up. There's nothing I can do right now. I don't really have the cash. Still waiting on uh, the end of the week pay. Let's see if there's somebody up top. There's Ramoon, but he's only going to be paying me with 50 per dude. I can't afford that. I need more cash. Mm, okay, let's leave. Try to go and save Ambien, but I think, in, I, th I think if it's in a looted state, I won't be able to do anything with it. I'll find out in a second. Oh no, we can actually attack the bandits. Ouch, 31 forest bandits. That's going to be rough. Hey, really? Welcome back to the end, dude. Uh, no, no, actually, don't play Star Sector Vanilla. I've never, interestingly enough, I've never played Star Sector Vanilla. I've only been playing Star Sector with mods. Archers up there, please. Can you go back? Okay, infantry charge, cavalry charge. You boys need to go in there because you are getting shot up. You gotta move through. I'm gonna get in this business. Then we're gonna offer them a distraction. So that they don't keep on shooting my boys. Let's go a little bit, if we can. Leslie has leveled up, that's great. Oof, that was a nasty hit. I'll try to keep the horsey safe. Ooh, and there's actually more up there. Remember when I said keep the horsey safe? I lied. Leslie is unconscious. I'm gonna bring the archers forward so they got a better shot. That SWAT in that doesn't give a fuck. I have to get in here and try to minimize casualties, because once they once they run through the farmers, they're gonna start running through my men, so yeah, that's better. Battle has been won. We haven't lost anybody. Just some mood and if we refuse, we leave. And we win this tournament. Also, there's a little bit Hey, Craig Hack. Welcome back to the game, man. What's up? 
How art thou? I can't remember if Lizalit is a noble. I just don't remember. He is? I see, so he is a noble. That means he should bring his strength up to 15. I put a point into that, it looks like, because that's a good stuff. He does have two leadership. I can bring that up to three, which is not really useful right now, but it's good to know. Um, his trainer is already at four, which is amazing. Okay, get his strength up a bit. He has power strike three, weapon master three. He does have writing two, which is good. Training's already up. I guess we're just going to save this point. Or we can go charisma nine and just use the point right off the bat. Or we can go intellect 12, and nope, that's actually not going to help with much, unless we are going to be going balls to the wall into pathfinding right now. And that's fine. Just give him strength 10, and we're going to go up to 15. I'll wait what? I'm waiting. You're misremembering? Could you please uh, check the wikis? Then I'm just gonna wait on leveling him up right now. Thanks, man. Alright, so we've quote unquote saved that village, even though it's burned down. Let's keep on moving. Next up will be Provin, and hopefully we'll reach the tournament there. Good. Money has been received. That's going to at least allow us to level up some soldiers. Actually, no, that's going to at least allow us to bet on the tournament here. Yeah, that's what we need. Plus, we need to prioritize on buying two more horses. And those are two expensive horses. We can find some uh, cheaper stuff. Let's join the tournament and try to win this. Three teams, two fighters each. And my boy's already... Down. Need to be careful. I need to kill one of the green guys. Got him. Hello, Volem Volemoyun. Welcome to the end. How may we be of service, good sir? Seems you were right. Mathild, Lesolet. Rolf, Alan, and Behesher, and Ferentis are noble, according to the wiki. Yeah, but what's their personality? Because so I think I need to make Alan, um, Mathild, and Lesolet into vassals. Or was it Rolf? I think Rolf's cunning. And I shouldn't be relying on him. Because, of course, I forgot again, and I didn't check my notes, because I'm a dumb, forgetful idiot. Ooh, oof. Okay, 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 let's, let's calm it down. Because she's nailing me. Got her. Nice. Nice. Good, 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 good. Two teams, two fighters each. Well, depends on the weapon that I get. We're only going to be using uh, these, huh? I guess we're just going to go with lances. Nice. Good. Three teams, one fighter each. You remember uh, you saying in your guide that Rolf and Behesher shouldn't be vassals, uh, but are nobles? Yes, indeed. Rolf and Behesher shouldn't be vassals because they're... Cunt, they have a cunning personality, if I remember correctly. That's why. But I don't remember Lesolet, what was his situation. What is his personality? Is he a god among men? Or is he a devil in sheep's clothing? A wolf in sheep's clothing. And that's gonna be annoying. Also, I received 12 damage because of that. Got her. Nice. 
Nice, 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 nice. Two teams, two fighters each. I'm gonna go through the same setup. Mm, but this time I'm gonna be on the receiving end of it. Need to bait them into a wall. Good. Gonna go for another drive by. And blocked. Move away. Regroup. Rebate, rebate them into a wall. Like so. Work positioning. Let's move. There it is. No. I hate the fact that we don't receive clubs as well. It's gonna be annoying. Okay, there's somebody who stopped the there. Got him. It's a couched lands, should stay away from that. And now go. Damn, how the hell did you block? That's annoying. on this. I hey, got her! Got her! Nice! Five damage. I fought in her general direction and she she fell unconscious. Good. Two teams, one fighter each. Mm. Nah, I should play this safe. Play this safe. Don't risk. Don't, don't try and play chicken with the enemy. Because there's a high chance that I'll lose. Especially since I am not focusing at all into Lancer Warfare. Need to bait. Yeah, let's go. Let's bait the enemy in a wall. That at the gate should be the best location to bait. Close enough. We need to try to be the ones chasing. There it is. If we're the ones chasing, we have the advantage. There it is. Good. Good, 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 good. Hey, Spectre. Welcome back to the end, man. How you doing? Two teams, one fighter each. Lizzle was a hero in my guide. Only nobles were Alan, Metheld, and Ferentis. That's all you know, but I think it's safe to make Lizzle a noble. I'm sorry to hear that, my man. If you're tired, get some rest, dude. Get some rest. So I made Lezolit into a medic in my guy. Really? I don't think that's correct. Lezolit's a healer. What was I thinking? at the time. You should, but you have an ob obligations within the next hour. Okay, well then, once you finish your obligations, you're gonna get a good night's sleep. You're gonna wake up in the morning and you're gonna make yourself some toast and some coffee and maybe some eggs and you're gonna have a nice, beautiful day, Spectre. I'm gonna stab his horse. If this continues. I have to definitely check my notes. Good, got a good shot in there. Well, shot, a hit. Okay, get here, Buster Brown. There we go.
You don't need toast. You have uh, Doctor Skaya Kolbasa that you picked up yesterday, and you kind of want to get more. Okay, man. Go get it. Missed. Oh, perfect. We're now in the chase. Damn it. Ah, missed the opportunity to actually hit them properly. Ah, fuck it. I'm gonna use the good old fashioned couched lance tactic. Oh, nope, never mind. He's using the good old fashioned couched lance tactic as well. But now Hayes is on cooldown. Well, never mind, it's on cooldown as well. Got him! Nice! Good. Alright, we won the we won the location, we won the tournament. Looking good. 4 4.7k, that is much better than we that <laughs> the position that we were ten minutes ago. And there's gonna be a tournament at Jalakala and Ikamur. And I think we can make it to the tournament at Jalakala. We're gonna start making our way to Velika first. Since I don't remember the situation, I'm gonna hold off on leveling up less lead right now. No warrior sword sister go sister sword sister go sister. Ugh, maybe I should keep them at camp defender status. I don't know how sword sisters do. She, although she has decent amount of armor, we'll see. Hmm. You know what? I should do that. Yeah. Give me one sec. Hey, Zweeney. Welcome back to the end, dude. A wise man with visions of the future said I should invest in apples. What apples, man? Be Let's see. That's okay. Okay. Let's see. What did I say? Hmm. Companions and stable. Okay, let's see. Next subject, net or next order of business will be companions and stable parties. God, I hate you listening to okay. myself. So, companions and stable parties. Um, give them a few fiefs. They're going to be a little bit easier to manage. There we go. Surgeon, all right. Manage, they're going to be... That will go into your... Will Behesher and Rolf will be made into vassals or... Good for them. So keep that in mind. You don't necessarily enough exactly the do what blah 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 them do the bring who only if you need to. My god, I talk a lot. Okay, so the Shavi is definitely our pathfinder. I'm the surgeon. Our mentor is with trade and engineering. But what 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 did I do with uh Clethi. Or Clethi, Leslin, and Ashavi. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's that's perfect. That's perfect. Um, I simply didn't need to make Mathel, Ferentis, Alad, Bahesher, and okay. enough vassals. And it's things easier. Now, this is the initial. So, uh, blah, blah. Alan, Ferentis, and Mathel into vassals. Mm -hmm. You're going to be able to get Nizar. Nizar instead of them. Okay. Um, he is into vassal. Katrin is. Um, Lesolith, Armaner, Clethi, and Deshavi will always remain with you. They will always be cool. part of your party. And that is gonna be it. That is gonna be it for, uh, stay. Ah. How to level up companions, let's see. Lesolith. Shit, I did make him into a medic. Okay. Alright, what did I do with, uh, with Clethi? Artemoner is engineer, cool. Clethi is looter, really? Wow, interesting. You are correct, man. You are correct. Thank you. Yes, I know, Spectre. I'm quite loud. All right, so that was the idea. 
behind it. Okay, let's see if I can still still make that happen. Yeah, I can still increase her agility and just get looting up the ass. Good. I can make that happen. So, Clethy, you're going down all the... Actually, no, no, no. Stay, stay up here. Stay up here. I'd like for you guys to participate in battle and just level up as much as you can. Frontis to Shabby is going to be the dedicated Pathfinder. Autoner is going to be the engineer with tactics. Yeah, we got something good going on here. And Lizalit will be a good medic. Because he has some good stats in general. So we're just going to go surgery balls to the wall and just level these up to reach at least four for right now because intellect permits us to do so. Um, do I put you in the front line? Hmm. So yeah, yeah, the, the, the things that I, one of the things that I really, really hate is editing and listening to my own videos because for some odd reason I hate listening to myself. I hate it. Hey Charis, welcome back to the anime man. Now it's going better now that I remember what I need to do with these characters. So we should be fine. Uh, yeah, Lizzle is going to be getting himself a crossbow pretty soon. So thank you for your patience, good sirs and ladies and gentlemen, and sorry for the... for checking it out on stream. To be honest, I should have done that before the stream happened. Why are you not going over the... There we go, now go Ducks Hall. So yeah. Warband is slowly progressing in the direction that I want it to go. Got a heavy crossbow that requires nine. Yeah, that'll work. And I'll need some bolts. Steel bolts. How much for the steel bolts, though? Three hate. It's fine. I'll be getting that. Goods wise, get two bread. And give that to Lazalette. He's now going to be in the archer division. So. Clethy, Deshavi, and Arminer are on all in Archer Divisions. I should start giving Mahesha, Allen, Ferentis. I might give them mounts soon. We'll see. I'll think about that. So, there was a reason why I came here. I wanted to give Lezolet this. That should do it. Yeah, let him do more damage. Let him do the damage that he needs to do so well. Then for horses, uh, nope, those are some expensive horses that I don't really want to get into. We're going to go to Velika, and then from Velika we're going to go to Jelakala, where there's a tournament. Also, since we're near Ox Hall, let me just check the tavern for a ransom broker. Wandering a Sheik, can you teach me anything? You can, good. Hmm? We should be praying you, uh, praying to you, honestly, for giving us those guides, super helpful. Dude, um... The reason why I made those guys is because I needed them at one point and I couldn't find a complete guide with all of the information that I seeked out. Um, so that's why I did it. Because I needed it and a lot of people would have found it helpful. Besides that, it's content that's missing from the internet and it's kind of hard to get your hands on uh, original content. Okay. Borcha is, I think, staying in the party as well. But I'll find out for sure soon. He is a Pathfinder, but looks like he does have some writing, but his combat stats are not in the right place. I'll think about it. Let's move. I made the World of Coloradia a better place. You know, there's a double-edged sword to making that guide, because once you see the guide, um, you know what to expect in the game. Um, there's no element of surprise. You should... Practically everything that you would discover on your own has been given to you on a silver platter, and that's not necessarily what you would desire. That's why I provide timestamps in the guide to seek out just the subjects that you really want to know but i did understand that a lot of people have been seeing that guide in its entirety all right each one with their own each one with their own choice because there's a certain there's a certain um fulfillment that you get when you discover stuff on your own and when you explore and learn it the hard way for example if i start playing a new game 
I avoid guides and spoilers like the plague. I just stay away from that shit because I want to blind through something and stumble and crash and make mistakes on my first playthrough. It's it's fun in a weird way. It's 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 practically you getting out from the dirt with your own knowledge and strength and experience. And that's what I like about it. But of course, a guide's good. Especially if you if you really want to min-max it up. Veteran Crossbowman, yeah, that's not going to be something that we're going to be attacking. Although if you rush them with the cavalry, it should be fine. Goods is fine. Let's see, some cheap horses. Not that cheap, but I'll grab them. But right now, it'll be fine. That's a Merc Crossbowman. That's a Ransom Broker. Exactly the gentleman I've been looking for. Alright. Give me that cash. You watch it whole, but you play the game earlier a lot, so just basically increase your knowledge about the game. Yeah, 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 that's that's the thing. They're not really guides meant for beginner players. Um, they're guides... I should really put a, a disclaimer at the beginning. Spoiler warning. I am giving out the min-max and how to beat the game. Careful. If you want to if you want to explore these bits and pieces by yourself, please play the game by yourself a bit. Don't rely on my guides just yet. Yeah, if somebody if somebody comes in and asks for tips and tricks and stuff like that for a game, I think the first thing that I usually ask them is, "Have you played the game at all?" And if they say no, I'm going to tell them, go in the game and play. Don't seek any tips. Don't seek any guides. Don't ask anybody about anything. Just just know this. It's a good game. Get in there. Play it. And just enjoy. Just enjoy the unknown for a little bit. Once you went through a few rounds and you feel like you've stumbled upon gold or you stumbled upon a... a brick wall and you can't pass through that or things become stale that's when you seek out a guide you seek further assistance you seek help you check what other people are doing uh i'm an idiot where where is the tournament at ikamer the best is the front is the first impression as they say yes exactly there are some video games out there that I wish I would forget all about and play them again. For example, I would love to replay um, the Fallout series without any knowledge of it. Just, just wipe my memory of everything that's Fallout. Or wipe my memory of everything that's Skyrim. Or Tyranny. Oh, that would be a, another good game. Get off my back, Borgia. There's a lot of stuff that I would really, really enjoy to replay. That's why I usually um, revisit games after a few years because I completely forget what the fuck I was doing in those video games. One of the good things of uh, not having a very, very reliable memory. Um, and then I would just revisit it. It's like revisiting an old book or an old friend and just go through the game again. Really enjoyable. Borcha has leveled up. He's now level 4. Good for him. Just going to give him an extra point of strength for right now and try to make him reliable. And I don't think he's going to be staying with us for a long time. We'll see. Next time's going to be at Hallmark. And we're going to... Hmm? You're a bit tired of the Shavi. Um, the Shavi's a capable member of the company. You shut up, Borchi, my boy. You're gonna get along with the peanut gallery and you're gonna like it. It's okay. So the Ikemer tournament is still a go. Horses are now complete and secure. Character's looking on its way to level up. That's good. Next thing that we're going to be getting is going to be two points, extra points into agility. 
You have exactly the same thing with games. You never stop on only one playthrough in games. Oh, actually, I do stop on one playthrough. If I finish something once, I just take a pause from that video game for at least a few months. At least. And then I revisit and go for another playthrough. Because if I, if I do the a new playthrough right off the bat, then everything's still fresh in my mind and I can't, I don't really enjoy it as much. Alright, that's fine. Check the chair and then move. Traveler and Ransom Broker, Nizar, a belligerent drunk, oh come on belligerent drunk. Why you do this to me? Do you really f wish to die that much? Good. So let's do this again. These are my boy. You're coming with me. There we go. And you're gonna go gather the right tool. Show your equipment though. Ooh, that's some good stuff. I'll be grabbing that. And the Courser. Good. And you go and gather right to roll. Thank you. And this is going to go to... I think friend... Alan? Hey, Alan. No, he's almost at 15. He's getting there, though. How are you looking, Ferentis? Ren is at two. Okay, we're gonna give Ferentis the horse. And then the better armor. And I think the better sword too. Yeah. And eventually we'll give him a shield as well. How much for a shield for the dude? 500 for the battered knight heater shield, which I'm going to be taking for myself. And I'll give him the thick flame kite shield. That should do. Always the same sad face forever. What you going to do, man? What you going to do? And that's how he rests his face, man. That's the way he rolls. So, Ferentis, you are now in the cavalry position. Congratulations. Hopefully, you'll do me proud. Now, let's go to Nara, and from Nara, we're going to go to Ikrimer. Pardon? Another Nord Warrior. Check the, check the tavern. Hello, Ernesto Kak. Welcome to the end. What's up? Marnid. Oh, we already spoke with Marnid. We already sent him. No need. To Ikemer we go, and we should there. We should be there during daytime. Because I think so. Some step bandits. Actually, quite a lot of step bandits. Damn. 5.2. In theory, we can catch up to them. Although it will take some time. Okay, let's help Nesugai Noyan there. Because he's fighting against a big force. Cavalry charge. The archers, please stay here. Infantry, stay here and form a wall. That should do it. Let's go try and cause some problems. Somebody's getting booped. I'm not even sure if that gets. Nope, not friendly. That's for damn sure. Okay, Caravan Master and Ferentis are down. I'm sure there's quite a few of you that I need to eliminate. job. Ow, shit. That's bad. Just 
grab another horse. Hey, Nine Grove, welcome back to the end, dude. Yeah, I'm still playing a little bit of Warband. Just revisiting an old friend. How you doing, man? Damn it. I'm doing super hot right now. Wow, son of a... Let's, let's get you off of there. Okay, horsey. Infantry charge. There we go, got it. Beautiful. There. All good? Good to hear, dude. Good to hear. Master Grand Man has been knocked unconscious. That's an enemy, right? Yep. That's, I think, one of ours. I think, I'm not 100% sure. No, that's one of mine, really. That's an enemy. Yep. Stay in the blind spot of the enemy. Ah, damn it. Got him. Beautiful. How many enemies are there left? A few, and they're all over the place. But we'll be able to take them out. Swatty at night. Like the, like the look, man. Like the look. Cool. Right. We haven't lost anybody. Great, just wounded. We only lost three, but that's fine. We saved his ass. You know, trading is mostly a waste of time, Warband, but is there actually a stable trading route? You can actually buy iron from the north, from the Vajir territories, and sell it anywhere else. And you can also buy some uh, dyes from the Serenids and sell it anywhere else. Dyes and pottery. Five men hunters. Ooh. Be good. Get those men hunters. Get those two step bandits. Heavy step horse. Good. And buy some of this trash. Buy. Take some of this trash. Well sign. Wouldn't say that trade is a waste of time or band. Mm, well, there are some trade routes. You could do something, but still. It's not really super reliable, is what I'm trying to say. Marksman, wound veteran, slave or chief? Yeah! Look at that bad boy, the slaver chief! The rumored soldier that is more powerful than the Swardian Knight himself. Yeah, we'll see how that how he's gonna be performing. Right, so marketplace arms, so all of that jazz. And now sell the cheapest horse. There. Next up go to the no not the arena. Go to the tavern, and then we're going to join the tournament. Wondering a sheik. And a Merc Cavalryman. Good. Join, place bets, and there are three teams, four fighters each. Throwing weapons, huh? I'll need one knife, please. Any knife will do, mate. Sweet loving Jesus. Tech and series is still more profitable and faster. Yep, definitely. To be honest, I think one of the most profitable ways of making money in the game, besides tournaments, is soloing Sea Raiders. Oh 
my god. Thank you. I can finally get that knife and I can finally fight in a decent way. Good. We are combat ready, ladies and gentlemen. We can now take out the enemy with a swiftness. Well, if we get close enough. There. Are we done here? Nope. There's an enemy. I'll get you yet, Spider-Man. How the hell would you get somebody unconscious with a wooden dagger? I wonder. Could you? <sighs> there it is. Got him. Got him, boys. It's fine. We can go into the next round. Four teams, two fighters each. Shit. Holy Mother of Mercy. Thank you. Now give me your practice dagger. Thank you. Right now I can fight. We have the defense that we seek. Good. Take out this guy. Got him. Is that a friendly? That's a friendly. Nice. No! Don't get... Ah, oh, he got him all... He got into my way. My dumb schnitzel. Right, two teams, eight fighters each. Ah, oh, damn. Oh, this is... This can get out of hand incredibly quick. I definitely need to secure myself a shield right off the bat. Nope, nope. Now we're trying to gate to take the sh Did the shield despawn? Oh, there it is. Good, got it. Good. Now we can actually fight. Damn it. Ow. Careful. You can't block me in. Wow, he actually managed to kill him. Slapped. 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 Slappy McSlap face. Get off me. Oh crap. Oh crap. Good. Zephyr booty. Are we done here? Is this round over? It is. Two teams, two fighters each. <sighs> Close. Jesus Christ, I tried to take out a plane with that javelin. Good. Now give me that knife. And we won. Can gear on the arena despawn? I think it can. I think it can, but I'm not exactly sure if it if it despawns in vanilla. Alright, two teams, two fighters each, yet again. There we go. Since they don't have shields, I can actually use the javelins to take them out. If I could aim. Because you really can't block them. There. So now it should be a final round. Yep. Me against this dude. And I definitely took the short end of the stick. Need to try and slash him. I can't block, so there's no point. I need to wait for him to be in a vulnerable position and then attack. 
Got him. Nice. Hey, there was Borcha all along. Yeah. Ah, uh, sorry for stretching so much, but I'm just tired. Good. That went well. Let me grab some of that grain. We're going to seek the Arena Master, and most likely he'll tell us that there are no more... Oh no, there's a tournament at Ravidin. Great! Ravidin it is. It's actually not that far off. We're going to go and seek out... 42 Step Bandits. Um... That's dangerous. I don't know if I, don't know if I can take them out. Hmm? Okay, that guy's fighting them. I think... Will he fight them? Also, they're at 6.5 speed. Jesus. If they wanted, they could totally catch me. Screw it. Let's just go to Ribbon. Don't know one of the soldiers. Only if it's important. Yeah, they're archers. I should. Hmm? Uh, teleport should the chat my support. Jesus. Calm it down, Shavi. Calm it down. Good. Tournament is at the ready. Goods should be a grain. Check the tavern real quick. See if there's anybody interested in here. Farmer. That can work. We'll help that village after the tournament. Let's go make more cash. Two teams, eight fighters each, and we're on foot. Dangerous. Okay, take this guy off. Right off the bat. Good. And now we secured our space in the next round. Good. Nice. All right, next up, two teams, three fighters each. Mm, we got a lance. I guess we can make that work. I guess. <laughs> oh, no. No. God damn it. That's what I get for not paying attention. That's literally what I get for not paying attention. God. That's fine. I'm going to go seek out some uh, sea raiders on the northern coast. That's what I get for being an idiot. What you gonna do? I'm gonna go to Kura, see if I can find a ransom broker, and then I'm gonna keep on walking north. Hopefully we can keep some some man hunters alive until they get to a decent spot. So we can use their services. Let's go near the Seerator landing and see what they can throw at us. Our speed is 5.1, so we should be able to keep up with some of the parties. We should be able to catch up to them. Hello? 12, 9, probably won't be able to catch those guys. What am I looking at over here? 23, 5.2 speed. They're still a little bit too fast. But if they're if they're gonna go in that general direction, I'm gonna be able to catch up to them. Because they're gonna hit a corner. As long as I cut them off and just drive them in a corner, I should be able to catch up and kill. Just need to keep an eye on where they go from here. Did they go north? Oh, there they are. Perfect. Can they go through there? Yeah. Nope. They can't. Cut them off. There we go. I got them. Today the gods would decide your fate. Today the gods had decided on the fate. Calves, wait. Wait it up, boys. Wait up. Come back, come back, come back, come back. Archers, take a step forward so the cavalry can pass through. We don't want them to get off their horses because they're dumb. Just gather up, boys. Gather up. Is that Borcha? God damn it, Borcha. I need to get you some love. Okay. 
Okay, cavalry is not looking in the correct direction. Let's just move them. No, no, no. Get Formation mount horse, please. Come on, man. Get on, get on your horse. You dumb shit. Oh, those dumb shits. Okay, fine. Charge. If you're dumb like that. Need to get rid of that caravan master, though. Whew. I'm gonna slap me some boys. There. Thank you. Hmm. It's already invading my sinuses. It's doing its job. It's doing its stuff. Get them, Manhunters. You get those boys. Alright. Kinda said that I have to fight so I can level up. But I should get myself involved as much as possible so I can increase in strength. <laughs> Don't really receive a lot of experience from the battle of zones. It's very yummy. Thank you. I will drink it while it's hot. Really? That's not that much loot. Man, you hate everybody. What is a valuable member? Okay, Borcher, you're going bye-bye. I'll find you later. If I need you. In the party. Another Swadian Knight. Another trained footman. Oh, nice! All those Manhunters man leveled up into slave drivers. They were, poor as, they were poor as fuck? They were poor as fuck, and I don't really understand why. But, hey. That's their problem. That's their business. We're at 5k. Get all this stuff. Grab ourselves some more grain. And now, I'm gonna go to the, t not the arena, the tavern, mate. Katrin and Jeremus. I sent Jeremus together, right, roll, but I did not send Katrin. My cat. Go and gather that right. Thank you. Um, recheck the tablet for a ransom broker. No. Hello, Rakt Ijvan. Welcome to the end. Thank you. I'll try to keep up the good work, my man. I'll just call you Ijvan. If that's okay. Also, I'm, I'm kind of having a hard time reading the names because I have Twitch in dark mode. I should really switch that to light mode. The light motive. Small fries. Let's turn Rubichug. Go to the tavern. Talk with that lady and give everybody some good shit. Mm hmm. Because I need that improvement in relations with this place. Now, next stop, we're going to go westwards a bit. Those 20 raiders. Yeah, those 20 raiders need to go. Ah, they're 5.5 speed. Are you kidding me? Why are they that fast? Good. Got him. Uh... Archers here, cavalry somewhere there, infantry somewhere down there. The infantry will stand closer. Archers a little on this side, I think. Will be the way. Good. Okay, like the formation. Should be fine. No need to go loose on it. We just need to wait for the enemies to get in close. And that means they literally need to 
go up that hill or mountain or whatever it is. I'm gonna bring out... Probably gonna try to Oh shit! They're already firing that far away, huh? Okay. I told the cavalry to evacuate the premise, at least until the enemy is in a closer range. And I'll just try to rely on my archers a bit. Ain't that right, Alan? My archers! Okay. Okay, the Rodok veteran crossbowman seems seems to be getting a few good shots in. Hey, Zero. Welcome back to the end, man. Haven't seen you in a while. How have you, how have you been? How's good old Warband going? Relaxing experience. Relaxing and pretty straightforward. Yeah, they're getting booked upon. Overshot it. But they'll eventually go out. Cavalry charge. Infantry start going in as well. Who the hell is that? Oh shit, I need to tell Behester to not be in the infantry division, that's for damn sure. I wasn't even aware that he was in uh, the infantry division. You're doing fine, you guess? You're not very convincing, my man. Falls for what, Mustrovich? Good, they're down. Only one managed to survive. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't getting any of those guys. You used to play plus six consecutive hours on a warband without getting bored, but in you you only get to two hours and then you close. Anyone else having this odd feeling? The mid-game and late game of Battlelord is just too boring, I feel. Once you have money, it's it's done. It's it's done. You you will start getting bored. Hey Tal um Talion. I guess. Yeah, Talion. Welcome back to the end, man. How you doing, dude? Behester Archer Division. Let's see. I'm gonna be increasing your strength a little bit. Shields fine. Hmm. You're level six. You can get some points into the trainer. A little or a few. Should be okay. Nobody else, Nord Veteran. Quite a few Nord veterans now that I'm looking at it. Bring these Nord Warriors a little bit further down. Another sharpshooter. Good. How's it going? It's going fine. It seems they're having some difficulties catching up to enemies and just chasing them down. That's my current predicament. But besides that, I'm doing fine. Besides that, I'm doing good. Might nah. No, I should wait up. Wait up for the game to start snowballing. Just gathering up money, building enterprises wherever I can, and we found Matheld. Nice. Beautiful. Got a ransom broker here, which is also going to be useful. And get some more cash going. Nice. Mathelt, congratulations. You will now be on the front. What do you got? 3010. And those are not those are not bad stats. I'll give you that. I'll give you the 363. I'll give the 3010 to somebody else. Get yourself a for now, a temporary shield. Good, and my thumb, can I already send you together? No, it's too soon. Too soon. Anybody else who's missing a hat? Let's try and upgrade Lesson's equipment a bit. 3010, definitely. Also, he's looking good now. 1826. Right, rest looks fine. How are you boys doing? What you guys are what are you guys currently playing? What's currently making you enjoy video gaming?
What are you currently playing and can recommend? Area should be closed. We'll try to make our way back to Rivichek and see if we can find some more Sea Raiders on the way. Currently playing Skyrim? Vanilla or with mods? Ah, oh, man. Methal's gonna dislike us for a while. We won't be able to center together right your roll. 25 Sea Raiders, you're playing Skyrim Vanilla. Okay, cool. Good good game, good choice. Playing uh, Total War Warhammer 2 has been pretty fun so far. Now, which campaign are you going f with? Here's DZ Row. Lately, you've been playing Europa Universalis 4 and Bannerlord. We've never managed to play Europa Universalis 4. Never could get into the series. Well, I don't even own it, so... I really, wasn't really interested in checking out gameplay or anything of the sorts. You switched from Civilization VI, uh, Battlelord, and having your 7th Witcher 3 playthrough. Yeah, crap. I need to go through The Witcher 3 again so I can play the DLCs. Completely forgot about that. Need to get going with that one. Just finished Grokgar. Krokgar, not, not Grokgar. Krokgar's Lizardman campaign a few days ago. You're now doing a High Elf Tyrion. Okay, that's cool. Um, you should try out, if you haven't already, HD Zero, you should definitely try out the um, Magic Missile Archers. What's, what are, the Arch, the Sisters of Avalorn. You should try some Sisters of Avalorn Doomstacks. They're pretty good for the high elves. Also, I'm currently playing a Lizardman campaign in my free time as well. Darkest Dungeon. Not sure if you know it. Amazing atmosphere in game. Yep, I play Darkest Dungeon. Pretty cool. I certainly don't own all of the DLCs. That's the only drawback that I currently have. Alright, we're going to start putting points into Weapon Master. And then we're going to go into looting. We're going to try to bring that Weapon Master up by a lot. Our draw is derived from strength, so it's nearly not that useful on her. Um, hello, Callanhad. Uh, the DLCs are great. Uh, DLCs for what, mate? Uh, there are quite a few video games being discussed now in the chat. Your opinion wrestling for is very strategical, not a lot of roleplay or visual elements. Okay, well, there are not a lot of visual elements in in Crusader Kings 2, but there's definitely a lot of roleplay involved. But it's also strategical. Wine and Blood is a game on its own. Uh, literally a game-sized DLC, and it's fucking awesome. Indeed, I know, Mastrovich. Um, my brother keeps praising on the first DLC, um, uh, Heart of Stone. He said that it's some some of the one of the best video game content that he's ever played. I'll need to check it out. You have to play the DLCs in Witcher. One of them is even better than the main story. Okay, interesting. You'll try? Uh, you just build the recruitment buildings in your mustering province? I see. Um, so, if you want some tips with High Elves, stay away from their cavalry. It's shit. Um, grab yourself two, uh, two bolt throwers. Don't get any more than two. And you're mostly going to be relying on archers. Um, the base tier... Level 1 Archer is good enough. You don't necessarily have to go for Lothar to see guard. And once you have access to Sisters of Avalorn, uh, try to get as many of them as you can in your army. Um, besides that, uh, keep a Fire Mage with you at all times, HD0. Fire Mages are incredibly powerful. If you want to try the other Doom Stack, the other Doom Stack is you get um, any Lord with a Healing Wizard and you just go full Balls of the Wall Dragons. And that's the other high elf do doom stack. That's it. You would not say it's better than the main story, but it's definitely a masterpiece. Nice. For Witcher, you're delayed as fuck. Hey, no problem, Callanhead. Get it. It's comparable with Crusader Kings 2, but Europa Universalis 4 has a lot more mechanics which interact. But it doesn't focus on dynasties or characters, but on nations and global dominance. Okay, that sounds cool. Uh, you found their cavalry to be decent, but maybe that's because Lizardman cavalry is also kind of meh. Oh yeah, 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 Lizardman cavalry is more trash 
than the high elk cavalry, definitely. Uh, yes, Europa Universalis 4 is close and similar to Hearts of Iron 4, that's true. I think it's the same developer, if I remember correctly. Might be wrong, though. There we go. Yeah, but Hearts of Iron 4 also focuses on production of the actual war machine. All developed by Paradox. Mm -hmm. I see. And we're getting attacked by bandits by that long shit. Really, it received zero damage. Interesting. Eventually, we're gonna get our hands on some good, good armor. Hearts of Iron literally make the guns and ships, and you get the resources. Sounds about right. Sounds very nice. Really, really enjoyed. Civ 5, but I could never get into Civ 6. Or, what's the, re the most recent civilization to Civ 6? Uh, Kaled, hey Rev, are there any good released Battle Lord mods, or is it too soon? Uh, me personally, I haven't played with any mods whatsoever. There are some quality of life mods out there, but I haven't heard of one of them to beat them all. Yeah, Civ 6 is too cartoonish. I agree, Mistrovich. That's why I couldn't get into it. Uh, yeah, definitely Civ 5 is my favorite as well. Just like almost every new thing they introduced in Civ 6, I just can't get beyond the cartoony aspect of Civ 6. Just can't do it. It hurts my soul. Goods. Get that green going. I can't really check the arena yet, so we're just gonna wait here for a little bit. And now go to the arena. Every horned one kinda just dies on impact with the enemy, but he out pretty quick that Lizardmen's strength are their decent Soros infantry, and that let dinos go stomp on the enemy. Um, HD Zero, if you're playing with Krokgar, um, he's, he buffs up uh, Soros Warriors and Soros Spearmen to stupid amounts. Don't, don't rely on Temple Guard in Krokgar's army. And the Doom stack for li Lizardmen is the Stegadon stack. Not the ancient Stegadon, the normal variant Stegadon. The one with a, uh, with a ballista on its back. The one with the higher range. It's, I think, a tier 4 unit. And the exact Doom stack is a Skink Priest with... Uh, well, okay, so practically a Slan Life Mage as the Lord, with a Skink Priest, a Saurus Veteran, and a Skink uh, Chief that all provide- that all have the Discipline trait, or all have the Pompous trait. Uh, the Discipline trait provides extra melee attack and melee defense of the entirety of the army, and the Pompous uh, trait provides minus leadership to the enemy in the local region. You replace your Soros Warriors with Temple Guard before the final Vortex battle, so you guess that was a bad idea. Uh, Krogar buffs Soros Warriors more than uh, Temple Guard. Temple Guard are more a thing of um, uh, Lord Lord Croc or Croc, oh, the, the Big Toad guy. The main leader of the Lizardmen. Don't really remember his name. You once had an unwilling tragedy as Poland in Civ 5. You literally had Germans on your west and Russians on your east, and they attacked you at similar times, and you had to defend on both sides for 80 turns or so. Damn, Ostrovich, that's hardcore. Kura and Dracuba. Oh, nice. There's a tournament at Kura. It's not really that far off. Let's go there and have some fun. Mm. Okay, uh, during what period, Ostrovich? Yes, yes, Armoner. God damn it. It's fine. And get your panties in a bunch. Tundra Bandits. You started on Industrial? Oh, so you started directly on Industrial. Uh, okay. Now, I usually like to start uh, Civ maps from uh, from the old times. Oh, no, the war started on Industrial. Ah, I see. That's cool. That's cool. Looks good. Mm, no grain. I'll wait 
on that a bit. Let's join the tournament and try to win it. Three teams, three fighters each. Mmm. Mmm. We should, in theory, can be able to take out any any soldier that doesn't have a shield. Oh, crap. I was kind of expecting that person to die. But she didn't. Let's wait for a bit. She used to those four Hussar battalions that saved your ass for 20 turns until you could mobilize a real force. Although you bought artillery in the cities with whatever money you had. Yeah, artillery's pretty OP. Really, really enjoyed artillery. And just ranged warfare in general. Uh, you, you can tell from the way that I play video games that I really, really enjoyed ranged, ranged warfare. Just my favorite. My favorite aspect of the games. Is it just me or is the whole Vortex thing kind of bad? Oh, definitely. Mortal Empires is the better way to go. Uh, the Vortex thing is pretty bad. And um, the way you win the Vortex campaign is you gather up resources to do all of the rituals at the same time. Shit. Oh, perfect. She's down, and now I can grab her sword. And that's gonna give us the firepower needed to kill these guys. Ain't that right, lady? There we go. You thought that the armies would spawn near the city that the ritual was taking place in, but no, they spawned on the other side of your empire and burned down everything except their objective. Indeed, HT0. Um, so, the way Vortex is made easier is you do the... You do the rituals when you have material for all five rituals, and by that point you're going to be having incredibly powerful armies and you're going to be able to fully focus on the rituals themselves. To be honest, in the Vortex campaign you should focus on eliminating the other major players off the map. And that's it. The Mortal Empires map in Total War Warhammer is much, much better. And much more enjoyable. More stuff to kill, more interesting things happening, there's not a death timer above your head. You can take your time to plan things out. And you can do some fun stuff, like plan... For example, let's say you're playing Britonia, you can literally plan a war to invade the High Elves. It's not necessary. It's not, you don't need to do it. It's not a something that you have to do, but you can do it. It's interesting. Also, you think, uh, CEA knows how bad, Vor oh, Creative Assembly, not CEA, CA. Know how bad Vortex is because most Vortex DLC factions don't do Vortex for the main victory goal. Yep, that is true. They don't. They don't do Vortex at all. I think, is, actually, is there a DLC that they, they need to do the Vortex? Tomb Kings don't. Who else? Oh no. Oh no! Can't defend myself! Damn it. I think I was eliminated. Yeah. Shit. Forgot that I can't block with my dagger. I killed myself. God damn it. Right, Caleb, have a good one, man. Glad you enjoyed it, man. Have a have a nice evening. Using a wooden knife on horseback. Yeah, yeah, I know. I forgot about the weapon that I had. Malus needs, I don't remember, or he sends stuff to Malekith. I think so, I don't remember. I've never I have the DLC, but I haven't played it with Malus. I don't I don't like the fact that Malus Darkblade is um, focusing more on buffing up cavalry. I don't like cavalry in Warhammer. Okay, let's move. 
Tomb Kings don't. I know for a fact that Tomb Kings don't. Vampire Coast doesn't. Marcus doesn't either. Uh, Nagia? Who, who's Nagia? There's two zero. What are you talking about? I know that Marcus Wolfhard doesn't do that. But I don't know who you're referring to when you say Nagia. There it is. Alright. Gotta wait for some time. Mark Cats, Ransom Brokers. Lord from Beast and Hunter DLC, the Massive Croc. Oh, right, yes, the Massive Croc doesn't. What's his name? I don't remember. Mr. Crockums. We're just gonna call him Mr. Crockums. That seems appropriate. Yeah, Nakai the Wanderer. There you go, Kevin Head. Mm, cha 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 cha, arena. Here's where I wanted to go. Under Cuba, in Cerna territory. That is far away. I'm gonna try and make it there and just stop at the cities on the way. We'll see what we can find. Some boyars running up around. Not really doing much. Swadia is having fun. I think Cernan started taking bites out of uh, the Rodox. Interestingly. Albert Castle has been besieged by Boyar Doru of the Vagers. Kura has been besieged by the Nords. Damn. That's going to be problematic someday. Can we make it in time to participate in the, the Cuba tournament? Yes, we can. Nice. Hopefully, we'll make some cash here. No need to be careful. Three teams, five fighters each. That dude should be gone. Mm. Oh, dislike the fact that we killed his horse. Would have been nice to keep that for ourselves. Also, Rev, what's your favorite Warband 2 faction? Guess! Guess! What's my favorite Warband 2 faction? There are actually three that are my favorite factions. Nope. Hey, Snake Doctor. Yeah, play some Warband. Enjoying some of the classic, comparing it to, um, comparing it to Bannerlord a bit. Uh, nope, not Vampire, not Vampire Coast. Skaven, that's uh, the only other range focus faction, and we all know you like your range units in game. Uh, yes, that's true. One of my favorite factions is Skaven. I really enjoy their um, their firepower, especially especially with Igat Claw. Um, not really a big fan of Wood Elves. Not that much. I'm I'm waiting for the rework for the Wood Elves to actually get a better liking up for them. Shit, slap that dude. Just blew him away. Okay, so you got one, Skaven, specifically Clan Skurri with Ikit Claw. There we 
go. I think I went in the next round anyway. It's fine. Yep. Three teams, two fighters each. Mm, short end of the stick. Empire or dwarves? Dwarves. Dwarves is another fashion that I really enjoy. Ah, the veteran fighter got that kill. That's annoying. Good. You think Ikit's Claw is easily the best lord in the game, or at least the faction is very strong? The faction is very strong, yeah. I have to say that... Um, the, the clan Pestilence... And clan wards are a little bit outmatched. I haven't really tested out clan Eshin yet. I'm gonna get to that soon as well. Yeah, let's use it right there, bruh. Greetings to you too, Panjur. So, uh, the reason I like Dwarves is because they have a lot of staying power. They're defensive, I really enjoy their artillery pieces, I really like their quarrelers. And I'm starting to like their guns and flamers as well. To be honest, the Dwarves are practically human Skaven. They're just very, very disciplined. And the Skaven are very chaotic Dwarves, I would say. Even though, yes, I am aware that Chaos Dwarves are their own faction. Uh, Warpstone Nuke goes boom. Indeed, Warpstone Nuke goes boom. Okay, and there's one more faction that I really enjoy. Can you guess it? Is this vanilla or modded warband? Uh, vanilla. Completely vanilla, no mods. Okay, we're on foot and we have a giant sword. Mm. Not the best. Hello, Yuma Dream. Well, dr Yuma Dreamer, welcome back to the end, man. Got that dude. Ha <laughs> ha! I was a distraction all along. Two teams, one fighter each. Good. I get a sword and board. That's perfect. Shit, the chamber blocked me. That is some creepy stuff. Also, you'll notice I twitch towards the direction that I'm attacked in simply because of uh, simply because of the Bannerlord mechanics. Uh, Beastman, because Beastman is a fifth faction that has no flaws whatsoever. Beastman needs a lot of love. To be honest. Oh my good god. Could you dick me worse than this? Oh, son of a. I. Mmm. Ah, oh, that hurt me so much. What was I supposed to do? There was nothing that I could do to block that. Unless I chambered, but I don't know how to chamber. Man. Annoying. Just annoying. But no, it's not the Beastman. To be honest, I kind of... Did, did they announce who they're going to be reworking in the next DLC? I know that one of the DLCs... In the next DLC, that they're, they're going to rework the Wood Elves. Did they announce what's the other faction they're going to rework? Because to be honest, Beastman needs some love. Beastman definitely needs some love. Not seeing anything interesting. Let's go to the arena, seek out another tournament. Ah, I'm so pissed. Jalakala. Okay, Jalakala's not that far off. What else in Skaven is next? Okay, so I'm a little bit confused. They're... So, with Malice Darkblade, 
we received the Eshin Clan. Another Skaven-oriented DLC. Can they, I don't know, go Wood Elves and Beastmen, maybe? To be more specific, it's Skaven Clan Molder, so more beasties. Skaven Clan Molder. Uh, Molder are the ones that specifically create experiments and giant beasts and m berserk monsters, right? They're the ones with the ogres and the, the big boys. But that's simply a rumor. That's something you heard and it might not be true. I see. I understand. Ugh. Ugh. My ears hurt a little bit. Okay, let's move. Gonna do a quick stop at Cherie's. Hello. Welcome back, Nizar. Yeah. Nizzy the Lizzy. We can separate for a while, Nizzy. Now we're going. Looters. Yeah, I still think they'll be fine against looters. Yeah, they made the hill pit abomination. Cool. Cool, cool. I recently, uh, recently played with uh, Skaven. I went with Clan Pestilence. Really enjoyed myself, um, and I tested out the Hell Pit Abomination for the first time. I did not know that if a Hell Pit Abomination falls in battle, a entire squad of uh, I think it's it's either Skaven Slave Spears or Clan Clan Rat Spears. I'm not exactly sure which spawn outside of the body of the Hell Pit Abomination. It's pretty fucked up. Rolf, my boy. Yeah, Rolf is with us, ladies and gentlemen. Never fear, Rolf is here. You will never need to fear in our life now, brothers. Did I level up? I did. Nice. So he's now 11. And I think I'm going to be saving the point. Mm. Could use some more inventory management, to be honest. Save the point for now, in case we really, really need the in extra inventory space where we'll get it. Um, HD Zero, do you happen to know where Clan Mulder is located in the world? On the Mortal Empire map? Clan Mulder. Are they even a thing? Do they even have their own faction? I don't think so. I don't remember. Alaburka Castle is no longer siege. That's nice. Were there any changes to the world? No, not yet. Okay. Let's go to Jalakala and hopefully I'll win this this time. Yeah, shut up. World of Veteran Crossbow, and yeah, it's not something that I want to fight. Good. Heavy Great Hammer. If I ever want to become a Paladin, I guess I know how to do that. Let's join the tournament, play spats on myself. Two teams, three fighters each. Ooh, risky. We should have a good squad going. I'll try to take out the dude on the left with the shield. Mmm. Shit. Good job. Now we just need to take out that other dude and we'll be good to go. You know that Clan Rictus is far in the west near Nagaroth? Between Nagaroth and Nagarith, if I remember correctly. And then there's also a clan north near where the Chaos spawn. Between between Norska and Chaos, there's another clan there. Is that maybe Clan Wars? Oh boy. Oh boy. Hello, Monsieur. Shit. Whoa. He'd be a fast one. Okay, maybe maybe I'll receive some help. Yeah, that's my helping boy. Good job, veteran boy. We're gonna go there. 
and kick his ass. Also, for those who have not played Full War Warhammer, go get it. Go get it and go enjoy it. Also, if you have the question in mind, do you need to buy all of the DLCs? The answer is no. No, you don't. Uh, the only DLC that I would say is essential would be... Oh, good God. Son... No, please! Mercy! Oh, good God. Oh, no. God damn it. Okay, they're fighting each other. Let's take advantage of this. And if one of them falls in battle, I need to take the other's shield. No, no, you... Screw it. Good, he's down. Wait for the shield to drop. Come on, give me the shield, boy. Give me the shield! Yes, and now we're ready to fuck him up. Good. In Vanilla, they're in Lustria, or near Crockboy, but in canon, um, Hellpit is the capital of Clan Mulder. It's in the World Edge Mountains, so near the Dwarves. So I guess if they get the new DLC, they'll start in, they'll start in the Mortal Empires. They'll probably start in the Mortal Empires, and yeah, they are near the World Edge Mountains. So yeah, they are north, uh, between the, uh, North Clan where Chaos spawns. You like how Scurry starts in Skaven Blight in Mortal Empires? Yeah, it's kind of cool. I always was in the new version that Skaven Blight was in the, in the Clan of Moore's hands, or as that was most likely before Clan Fury was released. Maybe we should buy a gaming PC then instead of a PS5. Uh, Avon? Yes. Yes. Definitely buy yourself a gaming PC instead of a PS5. It's simply much more useful all around. Because you won't necessarily need to only play video games You'll also be able to browse the internet, watch movies, uh, work, edit, and do a lot more stuff with a gaming PC than, than, than what you would be capable of doing with the PS4, PS5. Plus, if you got a gaming PC, you're going to be playing a lot more video games that are available out there than what you would find on the PS5. Also, with a gaming PC, you can literally leave room to... Oh god. Uh, leave room to upgrade it and keep on upgrading it piece by piece. That would be my suggestion. Oh, he's just saying that because he doesn't have a console. He doesn't know the joy. I actually do. I have a PlayStation 4. And I also have a Xbox controller for the PC as well. So if you really want to play with the joystick, you can. What kind of antivirus program do I use? I use malware anti-bits. Zorg, Zorg. True, it's just that none of your gaming friends has one and you enjoy online gaming. There's online gaming on PC as well. It's perfectly fine, my man. I mean, and you still have your PlayStation 4, I guess. And plus, there are video games that have cross-platform playage, I guess. Shit. He's coming. Good. Stay right there. Damn, bruh. Got him. Nice. Your PC got hacked? I'm sorry to hear that, Zorg Zorg. I'm sorry to hear that your PC got hacked. Shit. Get off the horse, fast. Again, I lost a lot of money. Damn it. Horrible. Horrible decision making on my part. How did it get hacked, Zorg Zorg? 
Kudan tournament. Where's Kudan? Is that a Swadian location? Kudan. Oh, no, it's a Vajir location. Wow, I completely forgot about the existence of Kudan. Does your PC ever have problems with Steam? No. No, I never had issues with Steam. And Steam is the main gaming platform that I've been using. Didn't you have a two-step verification factor activated, Zorg Zorg? Did you download something and opened it and that caused a Trojan to hack your machine? Well, what happened? Mm, paying a lot of money for my soldiers. Might be a good idea to get rid of some of the stuff here. I'll get rid of the Merc Cavalry. The Mercs in general. Yeah, the swordsmen need to go. They're they're costing me too much money. The caravan master is gonna go as well. He's just useless at this point. I think I'm gonna get rid of the camp followers and the sword sisters as well. They're not gonna be that useful to me. Should be fine. The rest are pretty good, and I'll hang on to them. No idea, man. You gave it to your little sister to use, and she might have done something to the firewall. I see. Oh, man, I forgot about the quest. For rent is my baby boy, please. No, really, I completely forgot about the the quest to save that village. God damn it. I, that always happens to me. I take a save a villager quest, and then I forget to do it. Good old classic warband. Give the fail to respond, okay. So when will the Grand Vager at Sardom be created? I don't think I'm going to be doing that. I don't think I'm going to be relying on uh, the Vagers this time around. Even though last time I did go with the Vagers. Probably going to be uh, trying to make friends with a lot of Rodax this time around. And try to focus a little bit on crossbows. We'll see. We will definitely see. Definitely see. But I'm going to try to get the best of all worlds. I'm going to try to get the best soldiers from each faction. <sighs> Pardon. And see how that's going to pan out. Kudan and Cherise. Mmm. Crossroads, huh? I'm going to go to Kudan first. But yeah. Practically, if I win two tournaments, I should be set to buy another Enterprise. In theory, I need three tournaments won with full bets on myself to have enough money to buy an extra Enterprise in each location. So if I do that, that should secure me the next spot. And eventually, I'm going to be making enough money from Enterprises to be able to just buy an Enterprise each week. That's the snowball effect that I've mentioned a little bit before. But I can't get there yet. And I might have made a mistake with um, getting such a big army right off the bat. Because they're, they are currently, you know, costing me 1k gold. If I didn't really have that party with me, I, right now I would be producing around 1.5k. Well, plus, let's not talk about the money that I've uh, spent to recruit them and to upgrade them. Well, I guess I'm gonna know better for next time. Be having usually, usually I go with a smaller, or more elite force. Then go with that for for this time simply because I wanted to get re uh, reacquainted with the units of all of the factions. There's a ransom broker here, but I don't think I have any prisoners. Let's join the tournament and hope, hope that we're gonna win. Three teams, six fighters each. Ooh, it's such a small arena. Holy shit. Did everybody spawn with a lance? That seems to be the case. Let's try and kill one of them and then skip. No, just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna try to kill two and then skip to the next round. Is it enough damage? 
let's do them for that should be an easy t oh no that's one of mine I'm an idiot there mm, give up the fight we go next round good three team six fighters each good they give us ah my one weakness what the dagger does mean that I can stay in close and take one of these dudes out and then take a shield stay away from the dagger boy because I don't have the capabilities of blocking right now good but now I do and now I can kill everyone with this weapon I can take out the opposition got him it should secure me a spot on the next round but just for the sake of experience let's kill as many of them as we can Might be dangerous. Let's take him out. There we go. Right. All right. Since we were talking about Total War Warhammer, I am currently playing a Lizardman playthrough with uh, Croc Gar, and because of the most recent Greenskin DLC that buffed up the Greenskins to I think a OP status they're a little bit I feel I feel like they're a little bit overpowered um the greenskin campaign and all campaigns that start near the green sorry not the greenskin campaign all factions that start near the greenskins have just received a bump in difficulty uh all of the campaigns now are much much more difficult because of the snowball that occurs with the greenskins doesn't matter if it's Grimgore or the other factions, as long it once they get a wog going, they become an incredibly dangerous faction. They expand like it's nobody's business. Especially they're gonna be confederating incredibly fast because now they have the defeat the leader and then confederate the mechanic that the Norska has. Which I feel like they it they just it took the greenskins to be overpowered mm, Lancer. Here, sorry sorry about sorry about the fact that I'm talking about other games while playing Warhammer but usually I like to talk about other games while I'm playing something especially since there's nothing to talk about within the game itself because you guys know what I'm doing I'm sorry? Uh, yeah, um, I drank tea. You know, drink a little bit more, don't worry. Um, in the sense that you guys know the plan. We're just going to be making some money and buying enterprises. And then when once we have enterprises and money secured, we're going to join a faction, make friends, and then make our own faction. Ah, that's the idea. Two teams, one fighter each. Mm. Okay, he's got the... Well, let's see. Does he have the short end of the stick, or I have the short end of the stick? It's not doing damage at all. Well, he's not doing damage either. Greenskins are supposed to be a really aggressive faction. Also, you heard there were a complete joke before the patch to the point they weren't a real threat. That's true. Yes, that's true. Before the patch, they were on the level of the Beastmen. And then after the patch, they just become... They, they became incredibly powerful monsters. Quite insane. It's essentially, um, Warzog, the Great Green Prophet. He is a very, very scarily powerful dude. gonna stab this guy until he falls with mosquito bites he is gonna die there it is good 
Good, good, yes. Mm. Four participants, two teams, two fighters each. Let's see. Well, there goes my boy. Shit. If I take one of them out. If I take one of them out, I'll grab their lance. Well, I could just use the attack that I've been using until now. That's the problem when they're two. They just gang up on me. There's nothing I can do about it. Am I the only one who has Twitch lag? No, Charo, I think a lot of people will have some Twitch lag because Twitch decided to take away my uh, quality options from the stream, so you guys are actually forced to watch it in 1080. Indeed, Avon. No, I didn't change the resolution of my... of my, um, stream. Twitch took the option away. So you're going to be seeing some lag because of that. Because you can bring it down to 7... 7... Uh, 40 or... 480 or something like that. Or is it 720? I'm not even sure. Don't remember. Mm. Okay, let's get him off the... Mm, actually, I can't really get him off the horse because... I don't really have a lot of javelins left. Because it's lagging on you. Yeah, I'm sure it is, man. I'm sure it is. Damn. Your direct connection seems fine, though. I understand, dude. It'll get better. It'll hopefully get better. Okay, Mr. Porcupine, cease and desist. Ah, oh my god, no! No! Ah. Shit. Why? Why didn't I just get off my horse, get near him so he can't do any damage, and just stab him with three damage until he fell? Why didn't I do that? I don't know. Because I wanted to kill him off with a throwing weapon. Because I'm dumb. Son of a bitch. <sighs> How are we doing on Gash? 2.7. We're bleeding a bit. Let's try and go to Cherie's. And it's it's something like this. It's it's a moment where I'm not paying attention that's just causing me to fuck up. Gotta go attack those Taiga bandits. They should give me a little bit of cash. Also, the Shangri leveled up. Let's see if we can further improve her pathfinding skills. Not yet. Well, we can get some extra points in the trainer. That should be nice. Good. Let's keep moving. Ah, pardon. Surrender or die. Archer's here. There. Calves. Take a step back. Archers take a step back, let the calves go through, and now sit here and start shooting. Ooh, I can actually see the enemy from here. Let's go something like this. And get this ball on the road. Ball. Get this show on the road, and ball rolling, not ball on the road. My brain sometimes, ladies and gentlemen. My brain sometimes. 
Army's looking decent. Those cavalrymen should turn around. Because I'm going to be sending in them into a charge soon. Cavalry! Formations! Mount horse, please. Okay, cavalry formations charge. The Nord veterans are throwing their weapons and they're killing the enemy. Great. They're like throwing weapons, huh? There it is. Alright, looks good. Damn it. Mine. Actually, I think that would have been more profitable if I had left it to a slave, slave crusher or something. Bonk. Bonk. Four Tiger Bandits for the Tiger Bandit God. Some loot to sell. And a quick stop at Kura. Let's see what's going on over there. Vajir, another Swadi Knight, another Nord Veteran, Rodok Sharpshooter, Vajir Archer. Cool. And we're still saving that point for the next long time. Most likely, yeah. <laughs> What's up? Never mind. What are we looking at here? There's no siege here. What's going on? Just they're imagining things. Or the siege was lifted. That's also true. Okay. 400 for the Saga Bandits. Marketplace goods. Sold that off. And buy iron up to 100. Ah, fuck it. That should be fine. And we'll sell that in the south. Since we're in the area, we can sell that for around 250 in other locations. Up to 300, so that'll be fine. Ravadin, do you guys have any iron? No. Buy one. There. Next stop, we're going to go to Halmar. And then from Halmar, we're going to trade with Cherise, and hopefully the tournament to Cherise is still a thing, and hopefully I'll be able to win it. If I am careful, I should be able to win it. But if I'm not, well... That's that. Hi, Katrin. Bye, Katrin. How's our character looking? Honor reading 5, right to rule 36. Not bad. The honor rating will skyrocket once we start battling in wars. 14 deserters, 13 courage lancers. Damn, dude. Also, Riff, can you give me some Warhammer advice? Right now, in your Tyrion run, you wanted to try to confederate most of the High Elf factions into yours, but due to some reason, they're too strong to confederate. And you have non-aggression packs with most of them, so you're kind of stuck with whether you should break some of them or go to the other land masses of the map. Also, this is on the Vortex map. Alright, if you're on the Vortex map, and you have a relation, you're trying to confederate other Elven nations, um, first of all, do not do defensive alliance and military alliances with them because that is also a thing that's increasing their power and the more power they have the lesser chances they will have to accept a confederation from you also you definitely need at least a hundred relations with that faction before they will accept any form of confederation utilize your um noble agents to gather influence and use that influence to gain relations with them also, you can try and divide and divide and conquer them, but more on the division factor. If they have military alliances amongst each other, you can start utilizing your influence to decrease their relations with each other and even cause them to go to war. But the idea is you need to um, decrease their relations until they break their alliance with each other. After that, it should be easy for you to confederate them. Okay, that's the best 
um, that's the best um, advice that I can give you. Also, another thing that you could do is you could try to pit them against a minor high elf faction and then help them in the war against that high elf faction. Also, you can you can also try and get them into trouble and weaken them. If they're in a weakened state, uh, the weaker, you know, if another major faction is at war with them, if you force them in a war, and then another faction takes them out, or it's they're almost taken out, that they're going to be more easily accept a confederation with you. Yeah, I know, it is kind of stupid. Um, in all honesty, logically speaking, uh, the better relations you have, the higher chance of you confederating with them. So I'm not exactly sure why they made the... Why they took the strength that you gain from a military alliance into, into calculation. It is a little bit dumb, yeah. So, Arena. Just the, the dude here. Proven. Okay, so the Tournament of Cherise is now gone. We're gonna go to Diren, and from Diren we're gonna go to Proven. Or Suno, then Proven. We'll see. Urgent Horse Archers. Yeah, that's not something that I want to deal with right now. There. Marketplace Arms. Hmm, could find a better price. Could definitely find a better price. Let's go to Suno. And then in Suno we're gonna ask for nearby tournaments and then we'll see where we go from there. And then Forest Bandits, 17 Forest Bandits, that could be useful, but right, not right now. 21 Forest Bandits, that's more like it. Can we catch them? 4.9, 5.1, yes, we are able to catch them. You won't confer with you because I have strong allies, but you're my only ally. Yeah, I know, it's dumb. I know, HC0. But that's the mechanic. What you gonna do? Check the tavern and check the marketplace afterwards. Traveler. Ransom broker. Hired blade. Okay. Decent cash. Grab some grain. Keep walking. Since we're nearby Proven. No point to wait until morning, because we're going to be there by noon. Yep, good. We're here. Oh, nice. Good price for that iron. Join the tournament. Four teams, two fighters each. And we're going with lances, right? Okay. We're going to lance it up. All of them spawn with lances, and I think we're going to remain that way for a long time. Turn around. Mm. Damn it. Oh, he missed. Round him up. God, the fact that you don't get clubs. Give up the fight. Go to the next round. Three teams, two fighters each. I don't want to get into a situation where I'm, I'm going to let them fight each other. Ooh, almost got couched. Good hit. Could have been better. Nice. Did some damage. Hmm. That's bad. That's very bad. Shit! Okay, okay, okay. But, ah, man, for a second there I thought that dude had a sword. No, it went too perfect. Oh, but I would definitely take them clubbing. Good, you stay right there, boys. Mmm. How? How are you doing damage to me when you don't have any speed? Fuck's sake. Okay, go for that guy. No. Also, one of your neighbors has the Sword of Cain. Should you be scared? No. 
No, the Sword of Cain doesn't make the faction more aggressive. Also, might be a good idea to stay away from the Sword of Cain. It's not really that worth. It's not really worth it. Yeah, it gives you a it gives you a very very powerful lord if he has it equipped. But Tyrion is already one of the most powerful lords in the game. Tyrion can sometimes just single handedly take out an army because he's that stupidly strong. So and that's without the Sword of Cain. So nah, Sword of Cain simply simply gives you some public relation penalties that you don't really want to deal with, and it's not really worth dealing with. I'm gonna die here. Fuck, I hope I killed two people this round. Mm. Chig. Well, as there's not going to be any lances in Warchig, let's give it a shot. I have a gambling addiction. Wish this would count. False and war has been increased. Thank God. I don't even know the good guy. The guy, and he hates me. Let me go to Sargoth real quick. Peace agreement between the Norse and the Vagers. That's nice. Hmm, that price for iron. Do you guys have any iron? No. Check the iron just to be safe. Ravadin and Warchug. Okay. That's good. Let's go to Ravadin first, since we're in the area. Five hundred. Let's see. What do we got here? Big tournament. That's nice. Mm, Two seventy nine. Cool. That's gonna give me some cash. Four teams, five fighters each. Yes, my favorite weapon. If you micromanage them, yes. If you don't micromanage them, then stay away from them. They're not worth the getting. I'll be grabbing next to the store, thank you very much. Good. Now we're, f we're finally capable of fighting. Got that dude. It's gonna be lame. Got it. Good. The chariots are only good if you micromanage them, if you pay attention to them, and if you utilize them properly. If you keep them on the move and make them pass through enemy lines like they're supposed to, then they're gonna be useful. If they have bows and arrows on those chariots, that's even better. You know, if they have a shooting mechanic. Ah, oh, man, that's bad. Infantry, follow me. Does that work? Shit, it does. At least one uh, one of them listen to me. Oh boy, give me that horse, man. Okay, everyone charge, because it seems these guys also are in the infantry category. Interestingly enough, but now we're ready. Good. Oh my god, that dude doesn't have a break. Uh, two teams, four fighters each. Oh, this is this can get so bad. Oh, and it will get bad right now. Good. Whew. Right, three teams, one fighter each. Yes, let's focus on that guy. Good job. Now take his sword. And we won. Mm. 
okay, I should not count my chickens before they're hatched. Shit, he's just slapped the fuck out of me. Mmm. Be careful. Got him. King Yaroglek himself. Tough boy. K1v1 time. Have an axe. He has a sword. He has the advantage right now. Let's see how this is going to work. Okay. Got him. Boyar Krahask has been cracked. And now, will they dick me in the finals? They... No. They didn't dick me in the finals. Nice. Yeah. Finally a win. One thing has... The idea of putting music in the background on stream ever cross your mind, or do you think it's annoying to distract me? Just want to hear your opinion on this. Um, I, Craig Hask, I do enjoy some music here and there, um, but I can't put music on streams that also go on YouTube. Because YouTube will demonetize and mute my videos. So I can't do it. But yeah, when we play uh, stuff that doesn't go on YouTube and the music is not that important, we do put music on. Relation with King Yarg like has increased, and now Ravidin likes us a little bit better. <sighs> yeah, that's the main issue. Marketplace goods. No, they haven't really restocked on iron yet. We'll get it eventually. Was that a war check? It was a war check, wasn't it? Yeah. The tournament. Wait, since we're here at Kura. Let's enter the arena and verify. Make sure that we're not wasting time by going at war check. Another tournament at Ravidin and war check at Barry. Oh, right. It's a, it's a festival. Ah, let's do it. Wait here until tomorrow, and then I think we should be able to participate again. Yeah, that's perfect. That's fine. It's just gonna get us to grind faster. I don't think that it's big. It's that big of a deal. I feel like this is this. I am. I agree that this is slightly an exploit. The fact that you can do this, but you know what? Let's just accelerate the content a bit. Or maybe we're gonna fall right here, right now. Good. Next, two teams, five fighters each. That's dangerous. Especially if I'm on foot. Okay, if they dogpile and cause chaos, we should be able to get in there and start swinging. Good. Ah, he's a bit quicker on his feet than me. Got him. And got him. Nice. Went well. Two teams, two fighters each. Follow me. Don't charge. Ah, he charged in. First of all, take that Lancer out, because he's the easier target. And now take the Swordsman out. There. Alright, next. Two teams, four fighters each. Okay, I have the right combo. I should be able to do this. You're back. We're just spamming tournaments, my man, and trying to get more money so we can build more enterprises. It's the grind. It's the grind. Shit. Good job. 
there. Currently trying to um, make a profit off of the fest off of the feast and festivities at Ravedon. Two teams, one fighter each. Let's see. On foot. Should be able to cause some stuttering. Or he's gonna kill me. Ooh, got lucky. I think this is Yaroglek himself. Yep, that was Yaroglek himself. Just raid every village in my path. But I wanna be good, a good guy. I don't wanna raid every village in my path. What am I looking at? A two-hander. Hmm. We should be fine. Just need to get in as close as possible and smack. There you go. We smacked a bitch. Hey! Got diminishing returns. Got diminishing returns for this tournament. I see. Okay, we will go to war check. Hopefully we'll get there in time. 8k. Once we make money, uh, once, if, actually, let's not get ahead of ourselves. If we win the tournament from War Chug, we're gonna have enough money to buy a Enterprise in Raviden. And that should be fine. My relation with Jarl Logerson has increased from minus 3 to minus 2. That's nice. That's so nice of him. I'm glad he cares. Alan, your skills have been improved. There. Another man at arms is ready to kick ass. And we're here. What am I looking at? Nothing interesting. Let's join the tournament. Four teams, three fighters each. It's going to be some dangerous stuff. Ooh, crap. To be careful. No, what the fuck? Stay away, man. Need to take this lady out so I can go into the next round. Got her. Good. Secured position. Come on, big boy. Shit. Well, no oh, shit. Ah, damn. Yeah, 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 you keep moving, boy. You keep moving. I actually just started a new save recently, and, and you're taking my style only, but also letting the bad lords go free, just to see what happens with insane amounts of honor. Absolutely nothing. Nothing happens. And I guess you can let the bad lords go free, but usually you can just make a lot of money off of their asses. some fucked up chaos going on right now. Alright. Clean up time. Lords will flock to your kingdom? Yes, all of the lords will flock to your kingdom. And the, the bad lords will, will flock to your kingdom even, the, even if the, you have negative relations with them. Hopefully the good guys will flock to your kingdom. But yeah, if you have insane amounts of honor, you're going to start gaining relations with the good guys of the world passively. If I remember correctly. So that's going to be a thing. And that's a good thing. Let's take out the dude on, the, on foot. There we go. Eat their horses. Yes. Good. Eight participants left. Two teams, three fighters each. I'm not exactly sure how that works. Hmm. Oh man. Oh, they're ganging up. They, they formed a ball of death. I gotta get in there fast. Or never mind, this champion fighter is a god amongst men. Two teams, two fighters each. Good. Mm, okay, deal with the dude on foot. Got 
got him. And you got him. You got the other one. Nice. You notice every once in a while, uh, you'll get a bump in relations randomly with a bunch of lords. Does this mean those lords are benevolent? Yes, it does. Mm. Birds of a birds of a feather flock together. <sighs> Got him. Woo! Nice. And we won. We won and we won good. Now we can finally go to Rivetreg and build the best enterprise of the world. Welcome back, Rolf. Interestingly enough, you are here to stay. So up with thee. There. And go to Rivetreg. Ah, so that's how you know the good from the bad without uh, talking to anyone. Mm, I guess, yeah, that's one way, but simply if you defeat an enemy in battle and he says nice things if you on the screen where you take him prisoner, then you know that he's a good guy. If he says mean things, he's not. It's weird like that. Let's see if the Guildmaster will now give me what I want. Hey, mate. Good. Mine is 96. 148. Mine is 56. 60, 162. 250. 222. 1,355. I'm not even going to look at the rest of them. That's 1,355 per week. Damn, I love this place. 75% of the time, the Lord escapes, so no chance to talk and find out. Get more prisoner management. Getting more prisoner management will increase you, will increase the chance for you to capture enemy lords. That's it. Alright, next up, Kura. Soldiers leveled up. There. No, not my Sea Raiders. Please. Anything but the Sea Raiders. You don't even need to check others. A river check always offers over 1k one, one for Velvet. Indeed it does. Fuck off, Rolf. Villagers, Kura. Check, Tournament Master. No, I know about tournaments because I'm a schnitzelpuff. She'll call her Rivacheg Berry. Really? Rivacheg? I mean, she came from there. That's lame. Well, hopefully, it's still gonna. Still, there's still gonna be a tournament in the morning. There is. Are you sure prisoner management increases your chance of taking to the captive? Your last save, you had a high prisoner management. Taking Lord's prisoner seemed about the same. I'm sure. I'm sure that prisoner management increases the chance of you capturing lords. It's a thing. Even though it doesn't uh, describe it on the description. It, it, even though it doesn't state it on the description of the skull. Enjoy the tournament. Three teams, two fighters each. Ooh, tricky. Need to kill a dude. Oh boy. Oh boy. Damn you! Got him. Archer, huh? Okay, yeah. That should do the trick. I don't mind. Stab each other. Just get it over with. There we go. Three teams, two fighters each. Mm. The most shittiest stuff that I could get. 
I need one of them down. Go, 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 go. Yes. Surprise, mother trucker. Good. In theory, I should go into the next round now, but I'm going to try to take out the last remaining enemy. Any idea on the percentage increase of capturing a lord per level of prisoner management? No. No, I don't remember the percentage. Good. Mitsoba. Two teams, seven fighters each. Well, at least I'm on horseback. That should give me some time. That's one down. Slapped him away from this realm. I guess we're just gonna wait and see the results of this fight. Actually, my boys seem to be winning. There we go. Next up, two teams, three fighters each. Dangerous. Very dangerous. Stay with me, boys. Stay with me. No need to move forward. Let's let them come to us. Good. Mm. That's still fine. Good. Nice. That's fucking teamwork. Two teams, two fighters each. And we're on a horse. And with the two-hander. Yeah. Beautiful. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe Snish is the shit. Ah. I'm gonna have to do the good old shoot and scoot. How dare you stab Mehosi? Also, these horses in the tournaments are trash. Ah, oh, man. Well, out of 60 arrows, I'm sure when we're around 10, we'll eventually take them out. I know you're planning on having the best of each uh, civilization in your army. Is moral is morale not a concern with that? It is a concern, sub mega. It is, but we'll deal with that when we get there. At one point, once we have a fief, a location where we can keep soldiers, we won't have to worry about morale because if we're fighting against the Nords, we're simply going to be depositing all of our Nord infantrymen as a garrison there. And that should be okay. As an example, if we're going to be fighting against Vagers, we're just going to set the Vagers apart somewhere else. Practically each time we're fighting against a certain faction, we're not going to utilize their soldiers. Just to avoid any morale con conflicts. Then the morale penalty will only be affected affecting your soldiers inside your personal army. It will not affect the soldiers inside of a garrison. Which is great. Thank you, God. Indeed, I will definitely customize my army for my opponent. There. Good. Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely, ladies and gentlemen. Sea Raiders! Nom 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 Oh, actually, catch up to them, damn. You'll need a nice garrison for that? 
any garrison will do, any one fief will do, it'll be fine. As long as I have access to recruits by not burning villages, it'll be perfectly okay. Okay, uh, calves, no. Archers, there. Infantry, there. Calves on the side. Infantry, stand closer. That should do it. That should do it. You'll, I'll need a massive diverse garrison in one or more place. Yeah, I'll probably have a massive diverse garrison, but I'm not going to have a lot of fiefs owned by me. Don't worry. I should be okay. Planning on taking maybe a city. Maybe a city or maybe two. Depends on where I want to position the capital. The capital. We'll see. We'll definitely see. Uh, formations. Mount Horse. No, they're not going to do it. Okay, cavalry charge. Get in there and kick ass. Going to definitely use the loot from this fight to give Rolf something. Efficiency is 191. Once it reaches, reaches 200, we're going to receive a damage boost. Sea Raiders. Thick nasal helmet. Yeah, that'll do the trick. That'll definitely do, pig. Deshavi, um, tell Rolf that you have my support. Rolf is not really that important right now. Speaking of Rolf, let me give you something to cover your head, man. It'd be cold in this here woods. Resistance is futile. Then get that. That should be fine. We'll eventually equip everyone with what they need, with the best equipment. I'm also, I, I really am looking forward to when I'm going to be having the finances to just go on a shopping spree. Just buy whatever the fuck I want. Hello, Alake. Welcome to the end. I've seen your tutorial video yesterday. I have more than 500 hours of Warband, and I still learn new things. Thank you, Alake. I'm glad that it helped you out. And thanks for dropping by. So those. Ooh, a heavy morning star. Might be good on somebody. But not today. Iron. Yep. Some grain. In there. Leave, go to Ravidin, and we'll see where we go from there. Peace agreement with the, between the Kurgits and the Swadians, and then a Nord declaration of war against the Swadians. Shitty. 250, yeah, so one. Buy the grain. Next stop, Dirin. And at Dirin, we're going to be asking a arena master, where's it cooking? Hopefully, it's not going to be a swat in location because I am not in the mood for more tournaments from there. Hmm, bad price on that. Um. V Smooth One, thank you for becoming a follower, my dude. Welcome to Hit Point In. Shalakala and Berry. That'll work. But it'll work next time. That's gonna be it for today, guys. Uh what are your claims of this playthrough? Um This is just gonna be a by the book playthrough, my man. Our plan is to just build enterprises everywhere. Afterwards, we're gonna join a faction as a vassal and start making friends. Once we have enough friends, we're gonna be making our own faction. That would be the idea. Nothing fancy about this playthrough. 
We're we're also not going for a pure playthrough. We're not checking out just one faction or something. We're using everything that it's our that is at our disposal to gain an advantage right now. But yeah, that's gonna be it for today, guys. If you boys and girls like what I do, hit the follow button to be notified when I stream. If you want to further support me, also subscribe. If you're on YouTube, I have multiple guides and playthroughs that you guys can check out. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. It will help with the algorithm. It will make everything better. And that's it. And I wish you boys and girls a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.